Hello, peoples, and welcome to the Scott Gamers. This is the Redstone Creation Series, and this is the fifth build we are doing. So let's plunge right into it. Today we've got a sort of combination lock system safe-ish type thing. So you have to enter the combination. Um, so I'm going to enter the combination. And any other combination, as you can see, I'll try all of the combinations. So let me see if I was a player. Hmm. Nope. 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 I've already tried that combination. And I was like, that would open it if I was a player. I'm going to keep it open. No, no. Now, if you, like, if you players think, oh, I'm going to, well, I lost the lever for some reason. Thank you. If you try and flick any of these levers, the door does not open, so it's secure at first save. Another feature is, if I open it back up, I think, you're the thing is, if it's open, you can activate redstone, so you can have a lever on the inside, so that nobody can access it while you're inside, so that nobody can just walk in, brainly, and steal. So, for this, you'll need four levers, four redstone comparators, six redstone repeaters, three redstone torches, a dropper or chest, some redstone, three redstone, an iron door, and the block of your choice. If you're going to make this on sort of like a spiral server, make it a, one, make it out of obsidian, and two, to see if you've got a protection um, plugin, protection ish plugin to help you. So I'm just going to build it here. Create an, create the same thing I did over there. So what you want is you want yes the time was set today by my time setting day machine. You want one, two, three, four, four, three. Wait. So that's four. Six, seven, eight. You want nine across where the levers need and then you want three across for the door so like this and then I'm going to create obsidian here because that would be useful so this card create a small portal here and what you want to do is sort of make a new now remember to make nearly all this building I'm going to keep the back open but you shouldn't do this because if the back's open, people could break. Remember to encase most of it in obsidian just in case because then people can rob you. So place the four levers. So come through across from, he from the recess the door where the door is and come through across. So one, two, three. Place a lever here, 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 and here. You can add. You can add item frames at the back of these to make these look nice, and you can add the same thing into combination. Do whatever you like. Next, you want a dropper to be a block after the levers. So, here, and you want it far away from the levers as you can. So, I'm just going to encase this here just to make sure. Then, you want to put a random block, so anything. In here, then you want to put a comparator there, and if I show you, this emits a signal of one. This emits a signal of one. So if I was to put like an iron door here, it would not activate, not activate, not activate. It would. Just trust me. Then put bring the other three along here. They should all be activated. And then what you want to do is you want to put four comparators going, four repeaters going into the side of the comparators. 
then this is where you want to put your combination. Take two. You can take as many as you want. And you can extend the system if you want. So if you want to have like five or six levers, you can. And then you can have more. If you want to have six, you can at least have three. I would recommend um, having the number halved. So get the number you have of levers and then half it. I want to go, go for a... Oh, if you want to extend this, go for an even number and then half that even number, half the even number, and take and put the half, put that amount into consideration. I'm doing four, but you could put five, six, eight, as many as you want. Just the system would have to be bigger. This area would have to be bigger depending on how much. So I'm just gonna use four. And my comb last time my combination on the last one was the two middle ones. This time my combination is going to be this one and this one, which will activate these repeaters which will turn these off. And in the other places you want to register on repeaters. Then you want to place a block after the last comparator, make sure the comparators do not have the front light on any of them. And then place a redstone torch. Then take from this redstone torch, snake the obsidian round to this. Now destroy the part of so this for a second, and then take your door and place it on the side, so that it's like op so that it's, it's open. Now the reason you do this is because this is what makes it secure, because this is actually closed, and then when you go this is. For what the door thinks is this Minecraft thinks this is the door closed. Right? Minecraft thinks this is the door closed. When you open it it then and then when you go to enter the wrong combination, it's actually closed, but Minecraft thinks it's open. It's just a way and that means redstone doesn't respond to it because it's already open. Don't ask me why, it just how it works. So then what you want to do is flick random levers. Enter your combination And this door is backwards. So for this one, you might want for the direction you might want to. If you're putting it the same way as me, put it that way, so that it opens. So that it mip. So if I see, and if you open it, then if, to show you again, just in case, I'm going to place levers everywhere a lever can be placed, and I'm going to activate them one by one to show you that this does not open and I'm going to destroy all these and then I'm going to go on the other side and this is a board this up just so that you don't see the red one unless you want to and then add one here so that it if and keep that flicked up so that when you enter your combination you walk through and flick this lever so that if anybody comes by, they can't just go, they can't just walk straight in. Because say if this is like your safe and you've got a different part to your safe and you walk in there and behind a door and then they, they can crouch past you whilst, whilst you're like in a chest or some sort and stuff out. And then they can walk straight past you. Although if they open a chest you'll hear the noise and you'll be suspicious. But it's just in case anybody sneaks in and like kills you behind. In case you're low on damage or something. But so keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna flick all these levers up. Again. Levers. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, favourite oh, wrong thing. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um where's that?
please like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe. This all me and my channel, and I'll see you. me and this channel. Sorry, and I'll I'll see you again. You can create this. It's an awesome safe, and it's very compact, as you can see. Uh, good. Bye. Bye, people.